let's start solution in this problem the question is square root under square root 12 hours 9 plus square root 108 so our first step in place of square root 12 and 108 we write square root 12 equal to 4th is a 12 and in place of 108 we write 36 multiply 3 so our first step we write square root under square root 4 into 3 over 9 plus square root 36 into 3. Our next step we separate these two terms and get square root under square root 4 into square root 3 over 9 plus square root 36 into square root 3. Next square root 4 is equal to 2 and square root 36 is equal to 6. So our next step we write square root 2 square root 3 over 9 plus 6 square root 3. Our next step, we exchange the position of 9 and 6 square root 3 and next we write square root under 2 square root 3 over 6 square root 3 plus 9. Next, to solve this, we rationalize. Rationalize means we multiply numerator and denominator with conjugate of denominator. Conjugate means if there is plus sign in two terms, we multiply numerator and denominator with minus sign of these two terms. So, we multiply these 6 square root 3 minus 9 over 6 square root 3 minus 9. Next, we multiply 2 square root 3 with this and this with this. So, our next step, we write square root under here we multiply 2 square root 3 with 6 square root 3 how it is possible first we multiply 2 with 6 get 12 and square root 3 with square root 3 here square root 3 is 2 times so we get 3 so here we write 12 into 3 plus minus next multiply 2 square root 3 with 9 we get 18 square root 3 so here we write 18 square root 3 over. Here we get a plus b and a minus b. a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Here a is 6 square root 3 whole square minus b is 9 square. So here we write 6 square root 3 whole square minus 9 square. So our next step we write here in numerator we common out 3. So, here we write 12 minus square root 3, 6 square root 3 sorry. In denominator we first multiply 6 square root 3 whole square. How it is possible? How we solve this? First we write 6 square into square root 3 square square cancel with square root 36 into 3 we get 36 into 3 here we write 36 into 3 as it is why we not multiply 36 with 3 as we fact common out 3 in place of 9 square we write 81 so our next step in denominator we common out we write numerator as it is and in denominator we common out 3 and get 36 minus 27. Next 3 cancel with 3 we get 12 minus 6 square root 3 over 9. We solve this and get 9. Next we separate these two terms and write 1 over square root 3 into 12 minus 6 square root 3. Next in place of 12 we write, sorry here we write 9. Square root 9 is equal to 3 and 12 can be written as 9 plus 3 minus. In place of this 6 square root 3 we write 2 into 3 into square root 3. Now here we try to make a square plus b square minus 2ab. So how we it is possible? First we write 1 over square root 3. So next we write 3 square plus square root 3 whole square. In place of 3, we can write square root 3 whole square. 
when we solve square root 3 square we get 3 so in place of this right square root 3 whole square minus 2 into 3 into square root 3 now a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to a minus b whole square so next we get 1 over 3 into here a is 3 a is 3 and b is square root 3 whole square so next we write square root under 3 minus square root 3 whole square next square cancel with square root and we get next we solve this and get 3 minus square root 3 over 3 now multiply this 3 with two terms and how it we get answer 3 over 3 minus square root 3 over 3 3 cancel with 3 square root 3 square root 3 we get 1 minus 1 over square root 3 so this is our final answer i hope you clear this topic thanks for watching see you in the next video